What is up guys, Deca Crafter here, and today I'm showing you how to set up a Pixelmon server, and we're also going to be adding commands to it, such as slash PC, slash IVs, slash EVs, for all of you Pixelmon fans or Pokemon fans that need commands like that, just so that, you know, quality of life, right? First thing we're going to do is create a new folder. I'm also going to show you guys how to do, like, set home, home, stuff like that. But we're going to title this folder, we're just going to title it Pixelmon Server. I already have one called Pixelmon Server, my bad, let me just call this sponge server all right the first thing you want to do is download pixelmon now when you download it it's going to take you to a different website you're probably going to see some ads make sure that you wait for this to load and you hit skip all right you don't want to click any of the ads on here you just want to hit skip then you want to hit keep when it says the download's ready all right and now we've got our pixelmon we can close out of this and here's our pixelmon right here I'm just going to go ahead and throw that on our desktop for now. Next thing you want to download is you want to go over to Sponge and click on Sponge Forge. Link's going to be down in the description, guys. And you're just going to download the recommended or latest version of the Sponge Forge here. Once you download Sponge Forge, you're just going to throw that onto your desktop. And then last thing we need to download, we actually need Forge. So a link will also be down in the description to Forge. But if I just type in forge, link down in the description, you're going to get the installer for 1.12.2. Make sure you're getting version 1.12.2 because that's what Pixelmon is for. If you're not using Pixelmon as your mod of choice, then this will work actually with any mods and plugins as long as you're using the SpongeForge plugins. But we'll get into that in a second. So first, just download this. It's going to be the same idea. You just want to wait for this to load and then hit skip. Show in folder. All right, now we've got our forge. We're going to go ahead and throw that on our desktop as well. But next, what we want to do is actually run this one. We're going to hit install server, browse. You're going to go to your desktop, select the sponge server folder you created or whatever you named it. It doesn't matter what you named it. Hit OK. It's going to put a bunch of files in here that you need. All right, it's all finished. We can delete that. Here's our sponge server. We've got our libraries, the forge here, and Minecraft server. So now what you want to do is take your forge file, and we're actually going to rename this. We're going to rename this to server. Uh, make sure it stays the jar type of file. Next thing you want to do is create a run.bat. Now this is my example one that I'm going to have in the description. But you're going to right-click your folder, go to new, text document, and you're going to title it run or start server, whatever you want to name it, really doesn't matter. Um, I always just title it run though. Then you're going to copy this from the description down in the video or create your own. And I'm going to explain this real quick for you guys. So it's looking for server.jar, meaning if you didn't rename this, oh, this right here to server, that's server.jar. So it's looking for that file. So if you named it to something else, or if you forgot to rename it, you're going to run into errors. No GUI means that it's not going to show up the little white box. You can get rid of no GUI if you want the white box to show up. But don't close the black box because that's going to be your server. Um, pause prevents it from closing if it has an error. And this right here is the starting amount of RAM. You can set it to 2Gs if you want. Uh, and this is the max amount of RAM. So make sure it's at least the same as the starting or bigger. So now that I've explained that, what you want to do is go to File, Save As, Run, and then add .bat and then hit save. Then you can close out. And now you've got a new run file here. With your new file, you're just going to double click it. It's going to go through some stuff and then it's going to say press any key to continue. That's totally normal. That just means press any key to close. So we're going to press a key and now it closes. Next, we're going to go to mods. And we're going to take our sponge forge and drag it in there. And we're going to take pixel one and drag it in there. Any other mods you want to add to your server, you're also going to drag them in here. So real quick, what we're going to do, we can actually delete this Forge installer now, is we're going to go get a couple more mods. Again, all the links will be in the description. Now, what you're going to need so that you can set up permissions, which would be your commands um, and other plugins, is now we're going to need SpongeForge plugins. So or any other mods really it doesn't have to be spongeforge for the plugins they have to be spongeforge for the mods it can be any 1.12.2 mods for minecraft or for forge so we're going to get one called pixel extras let me just find it real quick right here pixel extras 
we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna open up the wiki and we're also gonna hit download download pixel extras we're gonna hit keep show in folder and then we're just gonna take it and put it into our mods folder with the other plugins or mods close out of here open up the pixel extras wiki and then in here you'll see all the different commands that you can now assign to people but what we're most interested in Ah, they're all down here. So these are all the permissions for the different commands. So you will have to do some reading and kind of figure out what you do and don't want to give to your players as far as commands go. It's all up to you and you will have to customize that. Next, we're going to need plugins like Nucleus. That's for using Set Home, TP, whatever you want your players to have. Again, you're going to need to read the different permissions and different commands that you're able to use and then assign that based on what you need. Um, but here's luck perms. This is our permissions plugin that I'm going to be teaching you how to use and what we're going to be using. I actually have a tutorial for it, but don't worry. I'm going to be showing you the very basics as far as setting commands for default group um, in this video. So if you want to learn how to set up other groups, you can either read the permissions or lead, read the commands and what they do, and that will kind of teach you how to do it. Or you could go to the video in the description in which I tell you how to set up different um, different ranks. Versions. Latest download. Download it at my own risk. <laughs> this is the latest version that hasn't been reviewed by mods, but it's a very big mod or plugin, so you don't have to worry about it being like malicious or anything. And you're just going to take luck perms and throw it in there as well. Now that we've got luck perms, we're going to need one called Nucleus. We're also going to need their permissions, so we're going to open that in a new tab as well. We're going to close out the old, and again, all links in the description. Here's our Nucleus permissions. This is going to be all the permissions for doing like the teleport, set home, stuff like that. Because we're mostly interested in home. Let me just do control find, type in home, and go down. All right, here we are. So here we can see the different permissions for the home command. Um, now we're probably not going to set up all these different permissions and commands in this video because I don't want to waste your time. Uh, whatever you want to end up setting up, I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'll show you like one or two commands and then you can go ahead and I mean, it's the same process for every command. So once I show you how to do it, you'll know how to add them. Next, what you want to do is go to versions again for nucleus, latest, download, keep, show in folder, open up the mods folder again, and go ahead and throw nucleus in there. So now we've got SpongeForge, Pixelmon, Pixel Extras, which is for the IVs, EVs commands, luck perms, so we can assign the commands to players, and Nucleus, which is for your other commands like set home, TP, stuff like that. There's a bunch of other commands in there, There's probably hundreds of commands, but we're just gonna, I'm just giving you the basic rundown, <laughs> just summing it up for you guys. So next, what you wanna do once that's all in there is you're gonna run your run.bat again. Now to connect to your server or for your friends to connect, you will have to port forward. I have a link to my port forwarding tutorial in the description. Unfortunately, it's not a one size fits all. So if your router is very different from mine, um, then it's quite possible that it won't be exactly the same and you could run into problems or it might not work, in which case my best advice honestly is just to find a tutorial specific for your router or internet service provider. Oh, one thing we got to do here is open up this file called EULA and change this to true, save, and then run again. Now your friends, for them to connect, your public IP is what they're going to use. Your public IP can be found on canyouseeme.org. There will be a link to that website down in the description as well. And then you just want to change the port on that website to 25565 and it'll actually tell you if your server is up or not. It'll say like success or error. And always make sure though that you have this console open. This right here is your server console. This is where you type in like all the admin or server commands. So once we finish making the spawn, as you can see, it's creating a bunch of different files in here, setting up the world, the spawn and everything. Ignore this warning message. <laughs> all right, so I think we're all set up. Yep, it said done right up here. So we're all set up, the server's up. If we type help, you can see that it says a bunch of different commands. If you want to give yourself admin, you would type OP. In my case, my name is Decacrafter, so OP Decacrafter. Now I'm opt. 
If you set up whitelist, in which case you would just right click the server.properties and then get, go to edit. If you edit your server.properties, you can change things like whitelist, PVP, the number of players that are allowed on your server and stuff like that. In your config folder is where you'll find pixelmon.hcon. Um, this file is what you'll use to set all of your Pixelmon settings. You can change spawn rates, the amount of berries allowed on the map, stuff like that. You can literally change everything about Pixelmon, the starters, even if they're shiny or not when you start, stuff like that. So that's the file that you'll edit if you want, and you can edit with Notepad if you want to change any of that information. Now we need to go in game. Personally, I use the Technic Launcher. It looks like this, a website link to Technic Launcher will be in the description. Once you load up Technical Launcher, you're gonna sign into your whoa. You're gonna sign into your Minecraft account. You're gonna to go to Mod Packs. And you're gonna type in Pixelmon. You'll see Pixelmon Reforged show up, and then you would hit in Install. But because I already have it installed, I'm just gonna hit Play. All right. Now that we've loaded up our Pixelmon, we just go to Multiplayer, Add Server. The server you can make the name whatever you want. Um, but you're gonna type in localhost. Whoops, I can't spell. Um, once you type in localhost, that's, or you can put a zero, you can literally just put a zero, it'll work just the same, but I like using localhost, I don't know why. We're gonna hit done, scroll down to the bottom, because it pre-installs a bunch of random servers for you, and then we can go ahead and connect to our server, and you'll see here, shows all of our information, we have now joined the server. You can pick your starter. Now we're in game. Alright, so once you're in game, because you have luck perms, it prevents you even if you're opt from using commands. So when you first get in game, it's going to tell you to type this into your console. So you're just going to go into the console here and type in LP user deca crafter permission set luck perms dot star, oh, dot star true. And then hit enter. There we go. Permission set. Now we can type slash LP be help and it'll show all the commands you can type now i'm just going to give myself pretty much all the commands so i'm going to go lp user deck crafter permission set minecraft dot star and i'll do all of the commands in minecraft now we can do uh whoops pixel extras dot star now we've got all the commands in pixel extras Pixelmon.star, we've got all the Pixelmon commands. Now if we type slash help, well, we don't have permission for that command. I thought we gave, nope, it's nucleus.admin, that's why. Oh, minecraft.command.star. All right, and then you have to also set your sponge permissions, sponge.command. And then we're just gonna put a star. So now that you've given yourself all of the admin commands, um, you're pretty much set to do whatever you want as an admin as far as, well, anything that you're doing. You just want to make sure that whatever plugins you add, you do give yourself the admin commands for it. The star kind of means everything. Some plugins will specify to not use the star when giving yourself the command. See, I'll put sponge.command.star. So that's sponge.command.whatever could possibly come after that command. Uh, so now that you've done that, you probably want to set up permissions for your default group. So we're just going to type in group default permission uh, set and then you just want to go and get the permission that you want to give your group so let's say we wanted to give everyone access to the nucleus command slash home um, then we would go into here we would find the slash home command let's see let's see here we are Nucleus home set base. So then we would copy that, go into here, LP group default permission set, paste it, and then hit enter. And now the default group can do slash um, home space set. And that will allow them to set their home. Now it works the exact same way for all commands and permissions. So I hope this guy's, I hope this guy's, yep. I hope this tutorial helps you guys set up your own commands and permissions on your servers. Maybe create some different groups with their own special permissions. You can even create groups that you have to pay for in game to upgrade to that group to get the. Anyway, the customization is up to you guys. Before you ever close out your server, make sure to type slash, or not slash, but just type stop into the server, hit enter, and that will close everything and say press any key to continue. Now your server is closed. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Adios.